Welcome back everyone, this is Kylie the Curly Crafter and today I thought it'd be super awesome if I showed you guys how to make my Patrick the Party and Peacock, which also happens to be a pumpkin. And if you wanna know how to make him, stay tuned and watch this video for I will show you exactly how to make him. And let's get started. Me and Patrick here would like to say I just got a Facebook page and on that page I show any kind of sneak peeks of upcoming videos just like this one right here. And I also will be letting you know what I get in my pumpkin contest because I will be entering him. So if you want to know, make sure to go check out my page, The Curly Crafter. Before making my pumpkin, I had a vision in my head and I knew exactly what I wanted it to look like so I quickly sketched it down into my journal so I wouldn't forget any details and that it would come out just as I hoped it to be. Before painting both of my pumpkins, I did have to spray paint them white because the paint would not stick, but even with them spray painted white, it took me like five coats to complete both of them. And while I am finishing my little blue one, I'm going to start on some of the sculpting pieces that I will need for the rest of its body. The brand of clay that I will be using today is Model Magic. They also sell this on Amazon, Walmart, and carry it in Hobby Lobby. But for all the pieces that I will be sculpting today, I will only need one and a half bags of clay. First thing that I will be making out of clay is just going to be a beak. So I started off by rolling it and then took a ruler and chopped it in half. Each half will be a top and a bottom piece to his beak. And then I just formed it, make sure the top was a little bit more pointy. And then I attached them together just by creasing the seam. This clay does take one to two days to dry and I did not feel like holding the beak open. So what I did is I just used parchment paper and I also added a felt ball inside the mouth just to hold it open while it dried. I also noticed while looking at a picture of the peacock that the top had two nose holes. So I just used a skewer and made them as well. The next thing that I'm going to be making with clay is going to be his feet. So for the feet, I rolled out another piece and took a ruler just to cut three long strips which are going to end up looking like his toes. After I rolled each of the strips out so that they were smooth, I took the ruler again and then I went back to each toe and added little ridges to give them some more detail and depth. The last thing that I'm going to do for the toes is just take tiny pieces of clay and flatten them and point them just like toenails. And then I attached it to the back of the toe and then it looked perfect and ready for my peacock's feet. I'm not gonna lie though, these will be perfect for other DIYs, especially DIYs that involve witch fingers because these to me remind me a lot like a witch finger. Now that I finished making my toes, I'm going to rip off a small piece of clay, but one big enough to be the palm of his foot and just roll it out and shape it so that it will fit all three toes onto the top. And last but not least, for the final touch on his foot, I just created a claw and put it down at the bottom of the base of his foot. The last thing out of clay that I will be making for my peacock is going to be his hand. This hand is going to be sticking outward, not laying it against his body so that I will have to bend one side so it would sit flush against my pumpkin. And this hand I also bent over a skewer where his hand's going to be holding a sign. Talking about a sign, I'm going to make a too much candy sign starting with this piece of wood. I believe I got at Dollar Tree, so I just took it out of the wrap and then I put it on a piece of parchment paper and painted it white. 
I also painted the wooden dowel next to it white so that I could create the stick that he will be holding to hold up the sign. I find that my miter shears are perfect for cutting wood dowels, skewers, and popsicle sticks, so I just cut that down and then attach it to the back of my sign with some E6000. And then I also used hot glue, ran it on the sides just to secure it down. This is my final now, and I'm going to be cutting out my decal. This is a custom decal that I made myself just with a flaunt, and then I did buy a little candy image to add onto my sign. Like I said, I will only need one and a half bags to sculpt everything today, and now I'm just moving on to my second bag. I will only be using half of it to make all of my lollipops. I will be making two of them. So what I did is again use the ruler just to chop off a piece. And then what I'm going to do after I have all of my pieces chopped is I'm gonna put on some gloves and I'm going to use some paint and just color each piece of clay. In order to get the lollipops to where they look like actual lollipops, what you're going to need to do is roll out each color, then twist them together, and then just roll them up. What I did is I did two different color lollipops, one that is also orange and black, and then I added them on some black skewers for their sticks. These are the two different lollipops that I made. They will go in one of his hands, and then in the other hand, I have this sign that says too much candy, and for the top of his head, I have these little balls that I put on top of wires to give a little more decoration up on the top of his head once again. These are going to be on his feet. They're his little toes and everything. I think they're super cute, and they look pretty realistic. And then right here is the hand that's actually gonna be holding up the candy sign. So that is really cool and I'm excited to attach all this and that's the hand for the lollipops. On the other side, I have the beak. The beak is gonna be so cute and I'm actually gonna be making a felt tongue to hang on the outside of it. And these little circles right here, I'm going to add 3D for their pupils. I thought that my pumpkin would look a hundred times better if I just shaded in between all the grooves of the pumpkin just by using a baby wipe and some darker shades of blue. After I shaded in the top head, I also took some white paint and started painting on the white parts of his eyeballs. Then I came in with some jack-o'-lantern paint by Apple Barrel, which is in the orange shade, and just painted the beak and feet for my pumpkin. For his feet at Walmart, I got a long 7 eighths of a quarter dowel and then I cut 
two pieces that measured the length of 10 inches to add his feet onto on his pumpkin. And then for the beak, I just cut out a piece of pink felt that I would stick inside the beak as his tongue. I'm so excited because now I'm going to add on his pupils, but in order to make it look like he's in a candy coma or has a sugar rush, I made two different size pupils and two different size parts that are white on his eye. So what I'm going to do is apply the bigger one to the bigger half up higher and then the smaller one lower on the other side. To add the pieces on top of my peacock's head, I just took a drill and drilled tiny little holes to stick the wire into that had the little balls on top. What in the world is a peacock without feathers? I say let's stick some feathers into the back of my peacock pumpkin. So in order to do this, I just got another size drill bit and drilled some holes into the back of my pumpkin and dispersed all these feathers. So the pack that I got off of Amazon was like $20 and it came with 25 feathers that were originally had a turquoise stem. These are real peacock feathers, so I think it makes it look a whole lot more realistic and super cute. So I'm just going to add in all of the feathers and then show you guys how it looks. After I had all of my feathers secured inside of my pumpkin, I did go through with some hot glue, add it to the base of the feathers just to hold it in place, and I also added hot glue to glue the head in place. And then I also got a bigger drill bit and drilled holes for the dowels to go in where I could put the clay feet. The next thing that I attached onto my peacock were the two lollipops and in order to make it look like he was holding it, I took one of the arms and just glued the lollipops inside of it and I thought it was super perfect because the tongue actually looked like he was licking the lollipop. I just hot glued the other arm onto the pumpkin and then inserted the dowel which was the too much candy sign but I did notice because the sign was a little bit heavier than the clay it needed some more support so in the back I just took a skewer and gave it some more support where you couldn't see. The last thing that I did to my pumpkin was give it some shading that would give it some more dimension and to me it just looked like it went the extra mile this step because it looked a whole lot better after I was done. If you guys want to see a video all about shading and how I shade things let me know down in the comments because I will be super excited to make that video for you guys as well. Now that most of my shading was done, I did want to go through and give my pumpkin some highlights on the eyeballs, the lollipops, and on the feet. I also took some darker blues and did some shading on his hands to make it look like feathers and super cute. Me and 
Patrick the Party and Peacock Pumpkin. Just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and we hope that you learned a lot and liked it. And if you did like it, make sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and turn on those post notifications so you won't miss any videos that are just like this one. On my channel, I do all kinds of crafting, baking, and decorating. And thank you for watching. Bye everyone.